Hello everyone and welcome to the NX A to Z webinar on the environment variables file. Um, okay, so the NX A to Z article is entitled NX Network Configuration Part 1, the Environment Variables File. And I'm just going to show you how to customize the environment variables file and how to put that file on the network so that all of your users uh, will use the same environment variables file. The environment variables file is what tells NX where to look for all the different settings that you can change to customize your NX environment. So if you have custom cam templates and post processors, then the environment variables file tells NX where to look for those things. It tells NX where to look for your, you know, your custom materials file, your custom um, uh, finite element analysis, post-processor views, um, just all the stuff that you can change, all the stuff that you can customize. Um, the environment variables file tells an expert to find all those things. So if you look at um, the NX install folder, which normally would be in C program files, mine's in D program files because I ran out of room on my C drive. But I would highly recommend installing NX in C program files if that's an option because it makes things a little easier. So in the UGII folder, after you install NX, there's going to be a couple of files. Um, so there's UGII env.dat.dat default and then env underscore ug.dat. So this is the user environment variables file. And when you first install an X, it's pretty much empty. It has a place marker here. This is where you're supposed to override the variables you want to change. And this stuff down here is telling it to um, also read in all the variables from this file. And this has all the environment variables in it with their default values. So the way you customize the environment variables file, uh, we're going to use the variable UGII site directory as an example because that's a useful variable to change. So if you open up the UGII underscore env underscore ug file and do a search for UGII underscore site underscore dir. Then you will see, maybe not. There we go. So all this stuff here. You know, these are just kind of instructions and information about these different variables. These are the actual variables. And any variable that's preceded by a pound sign is ignored because the pound sign just is a comment. Um, so right now, this UGII site directory variable is being ignored. And the UGII site directory variable is points to a directory on your network where you can store settings and customizations that you want to be effective for your entire site. So in other words, uh, if you're in a big company, all the people in your office, you know, have the same settings for things like the uh, customer defaults or the roles or whatever, and all that stuff is stored in the site directory. So if you want to customize the UGII site directory, uh, the first thing you need to do is just set up a folder on your network where you're going to store the NX customizations. So I've got this folder here called NX config. Um, I often have multiple versions of NX installed at once, so I have different folders for each version. So if you go into the 7.5, this is my environment variables file for NX 7.5. And all I did was copy So 
I copied this file UGI underscore env dot dat pasted it out to the folder with my network on my network where I was going to store all my NX customizations and then you just paste environment variables or copy and paste the variables from the UGI underscore env underscore UG file so you copy them out of there paste them into your custom environment variables file and then change the value so I copied you can see here I copied the variable along with the little blurb right above it about what it does so essentially I copied this portion right here pasted it in to my custom environment variables file right here and then I changed the values so I changed site directory and uh, so it's the O is just the drive letter it's a network folder and then I've got a folder nxconfig and x75 site and that's right here um, and there's some other folders required before you actually get into the different things that you customize and I'm not going to get into that right now um, because that's for a different article for a later article so that's pretty much it you just go into the UGII folder copy this UGI underscore env dot dat paste it into a network folder that you know all your NX users have access to and then for every environment variable that you want to change you open up the UGII underscore env underscore ug dot dat find the variable that you want to change copy it paste it into I'm sorry this is so you copy it from UGI underscore env underscore ug dot dat paste it into your custom environment variables file and that's it and it doesn't matter if the variable is in both files because NX is going to read um, the default file first the UGI underscore env underscore ug it's going to read that first and then it's going to read your custom file and any environment variable in your custom file will override whatever was in uh, the default the underscore ug file so that's how you set that's how you make a custom environment variables file now the real trick to this is setting up a system variable on everyone's workstation so that they all read the same environment variables file because if you don't do that then you have to you have to uh, put a custom environment variables file in the UGII folder on everybody's computer and whenever you make a change you have to make that change on everybody's computer so obviously that doesn't make any sense so to make this really work you need a system variable called UGII underscore env file which I don't have so you go into your just right click my computer advanced system settings if you're on Windows XP I think when you right click my computer you start out with the system properties window on Windows 7 you gotta click advanced system settings um, and then go into advanced environment variables create a new variable call it UGII underscore env underscore file and the value is just the network um, location so it's in my case it's o and x config env 7.5.dat so now when NX starts up 
it's going to read whenever an X starts up it looks through the system variables to see if any of them are relevant to NX so all of these UGI variables obviously are it reads all those and it uses that information and um, when it reads this file it's going to know to look on this network folder for this environment variables file and that's what it will read the custom environment variables from so if I start an X now the reason I didn't have that value already in there is because I use scripts to start an X and the reason I use scripts is because every version has a different environment variables file and a different um, customizations folder so um, I have to have these scripts so that I don't have to keep going back into the system variables and changing the, the uh, changing the values of the variables every time I start a different version so and this is going to be the subject of a, another article but I'll just go over it real quickly here so what I've got is these little batch files and what these batch files do is they just set all those variables and then they start an X. Um, so then I create shortcuts to these things and then I just go into the start menu and I change the shortcuts to point to the scripts <clears throat> and that way every time you know as long as I click the right shortcut, which you know I kind of have to if I want the right program, um, then the system variables are automatically set, and I end up using the proper environment variables file and the base directory and all the other system variables uh, the NX needs. So, but if you open up NX now and check the log, the log will tell you which environment variable it's using. So it gives you the system variables here, and you can see here's our env file, and then it says it's using the env file, which ugi underscore env, that's the environment variables file, it's using the env file from uh, the, you know, the custo NX customizations, the network folder we set up, and then all these variables that start with O, these are all uh, custom environment variables. Um, so that's it. That's how you do it. Copy the UGII underscore env dot dat out to your network, and then whatever variable you want to change, copy it out of UGI underscore env underscore ug dot dat. Paste it into the file out on your network. Change the value to whatever you want, and then set up the system variable. Um, so that when an X opens up, it will look in the right spot for the environment variables file. All right, and this is going to be a precursor to half at least of all the NX A to Z articles that I do, because every customization starts with the environment variables file and uh, changing the right variable to so NX knows where to look for the customization. All right, so that's it. Uh, thanks for your time. We'll see you again soon.